you know, the taxing the water, the taxing the air we breathe, which should be a human right. And they're taxing it, not directly, but they're taxing it with fuel tax and, you know, road taxes and, you know, taxes on fucking everything. And um, supposedly taxes that we pay are supposed to improve stuff in society. But very little of that money is actually being used to improve things. They're actually going into the pockets of the, the big pockets of the, the people on the top of this pyramid scheme we live in. It's nothing but melted buildings. They will tell you some ooga booga caveman came here to, to carve this or something. Do you think people with donkeys and chisels got some bricks all the way up there? Hey guys, hey melt heads and curious minds out there. Uh, welcome to today's video. Um, as always, we're gonna look at what I call evidence which shows that there was a cataclysmic event of the past that melted everything, all the big structures of the past and uh, turned them into what we call mountains today. And uh, all these formations that we see everywhere have been purposefully misdescribed by the mainstream academia and mainstream education systems and uh, they made up this whole thing called geology but there is no geology there is only maltology and i will show you so here another one you see a little bit of remains of the structure here some kind of doorway through here to the other side uh, when you think about it building this would be completely useless because you could have just walked here through here without this door and all this stuff here so a pocket of survival here looks like it's pretty far up in some kind of supposed mountain here because you can see down here pretty far up so you gotta transport all these heavy bricks and blocks with uh, donkeys up all the way up there and put them there for no reason and you can also see the architectural features here and stuff is of pretty good quality that we see all over the place with these uh, pockets of survival and remains which to me shows that the people who did this were not just some people scratching their heads who didn't know what was on the opposite side of their villages and stuff uh, it shows to me intelligence and they knew what they were doing which means they would know if this uh, would serve a purpose or not right they're not as dumb as they want you to believe in mainstream history class because they tell you the further you go back the dumber we were as human beings and civilizations but I think it's the opposite I think we are one of the most dumb civilizations to exist sorry to say it I mean I'm part of it I, I barely know anything but I do know a couple of important things uh, and that that should count for something because there is a lot of people who don't know anything all they can do is repeat uh, this nonsense that they were taught their whole lives since birth since young age in in school etc and just because you have believed something your whole life does not make it the truth you can see this pocket of survival too you can see all this uh, red brick here uh, have morphed and transformed into what most people would call rocks because that's you know that's what we have been taught they are rocks but actually they're just uh, mangled cooked out melted bricks red brick and you can see that because there is still red brick in here i mean some of them are mangled but they're still in there and that's what i like to show on my channel you know there is a lot of maltology channels out there and they show their stuff and their styles i like to show those that has red brick in them because they all do no matter where you go in this realm and you see this this kind of structures you always see a red brick in there so why the mixing 
while you just walk around the area and find random rocks laying around and then you manufacture a couple of bricks and just slam them in there and they're all deformed you know these bricks sometimes you know they're cracked and they're like swollen and heat expanded all that good stuff so um it just doesn't make sense according to the mainstream narrative and explanation so you can see to the right here there's bricks over there too and you go up there's stairs here and a bigger pocket of survival up here which is basically just fused into this formation here which is also the building i mean look at that you can still see some of these individual used to be bricks now turn into rocks you can still see them here so it all depends on the uh, amount of electricity coming through these buildings i believe it was uh, an electric event uh, usually you see the further down on the structure you go you see more damage because electricity came from the bottom and it got hot at the bottom before it moved up and that's why we very often see this so-called mountain tops and, and cliffs with pockets of survival on the top because it wasn't as hot up here as down here and it also depends i believe also like the ele electricity flowing you know depending on the path of least resistance uh depending on what kind of component on the circuit board these structures used to be so it's very selective and very local the damage is very local and that's why you have pockets of survival if that makes sense and here you have one of these uh, in Norway where I'm from there is a lot of these around and uh, I, ca I came from a city like very south to the, to the coast to the oceans which is the floodwaters and uh, because of that it was very easy for them to just say oh no that's just a world war ii bunker or something right uh, it fits kind of the world war ii narrative i know there's a lot of lies in there too but uh, forget about that for a little bit because south of norway and you know war uh, second world war and germany and all that stuff i mean it kind of it's easy to, for them to just say okay yeah it was bunkers and stuff um and uh that might be true you know how much of world war ii is true and how much is you know made up and written over and stuff i do not know they might have been repurposed as bunkers that's possible of course uh, but i don't think they were built as bunkers so if there suddenly is a war and you find a bunch of these stuff around of course you can use them as hiding holes and, and stuff like that but i think there are original these are original structures repurposed and uh, you can see the melt around here this is uh, brick lines at an angle here so the swelling started to like tip over this is the weird part where some of the structure melts while some still stands as you can see here and this will like sometimes turn over a little bit tip over and twist and do this kind of weird stuff but this is all the structure that's melted while this still stands for some reason and you got a bunch of like circle holes here don't know what that is the purpose don't know melt heads just showing so we can like analyze correctly and you can see swelling here in the middle of this stuff you know so i mean if you were to build this you could have put the concrete a little bit further out and like cover it in a nice square because you know they put this on they try to make it look nice or whatever so just add a little bit more concrete and you know don't make sense to me that this was built as a war bunker or something repurposed maybe this is a very good one i think there is a couple of photos from this place so you see this pocket of survival up here and the bottom of this structure is just 
you know, heat expanded and swollen into this kind of stuff. You can see the square sides and 90 degree angles and stuff on here. And through here you can still see horizontal lines. Uh, very compressed brick lines is what it is. And the whole thing is so melted now, so thoroughly melted that it looks... Or it doesn't look like, but it's uh, disguised as so-called mountain now. A so-called naturally generated formation. But it is not. Let's see. So here it is again from the other side. You can see this little thing right there. And you can also see more old walled structure here. A huge wall. And these things up here. But here you got huge swelling. Huge balloon rocking, as we call it. Uh, the official term for that, for science fans in this world of fake science and pseudoscience. The official term is grain growth. Here, another one. So it melted into a huge chunk here and you can see there is a crack going through in the middle of it. So some extreme force required to do that. And there is cir circle holes down here. And you can also see it looks like there is two creatures here. Um, two lions or something standing up on their back feet. So that used to be concrete molds attached to the exterior of this structure. You can see this side how straight it is and then 90 degree. It's kind of like a square but it's been a little bit deformed because it melted of course. But there is no way this is natural. And there's more stuff over here. A square here. And an opening into it here. So there's apertures, doors, windows. And mangled, melted roof structures and stuff. And yeah, it's just very melted, guys. So same as these. <coughs> so my previous videos have shown like more pockets of survival. I'm gonna put in a couple of more melted structures now that melted beyond pockets of survival, basically. Uh, just so you guys can see a little bit different melt because there is so many different levels of melt depending on the location, amount of electricity slash heat and what kind of components this wear, etc. Like there is a lot of factors playing in here, playing a role to make the melt different. But it's all melt, this is all structure here. So zoom out a little bit like that, so you can see the whole thing. There is now no naturally generated formation here, this is all melt. And you can see that on the structure, if you want to, of course. That's the thing about truth, guys. Um, for very many people, this stuff will be like, you know, very, very strange sounding and, and stuff like that. But, you know, if this is true, then you'll realize how deep the lies in this realm goes and how fooled we're getting and how indoctrinated we're getting uh, since the moment we're born into this slave system that we ex exist in and uh, that is why I create these videos here as a content creator to to uh, help people to understand this uh, level of deception and why they do it you know what was taken from us this glorious realm where nobody is free do you think you're free no, you're not. You can't even... You can't even uh, cross a road without walking on the crossroads without getting a fine, basically. That's slavery. Because you as a, an adult human being, you can, you can analyze the surroundings. You can look to your left and your right. And you can see, oh, that's safe. So you cross safely. And in theory, I mean... That gotta be an asshole of a cop, of course, but in theory, he can ticket you for that. Even there is no cars or anything. Um, so you're not free, is what I'm trying to say, okay? Uh, another pocket here. 
and you can see wall structure you can see some kind of stuff down here it's very mangled you can see a balloon rocking right there this wall going into this melt you can see patches of bricks in here which are deformed altered sets of matter of course you can see brick lines you can see openings in here whatever this is probably collapsed more brick lines and then there's structure on top and you can see here a little archway that doesn't make any sense to me so got all these structures all over the place like lots of melt and here another little pocket of survival here and this one is like buried from all the melt flood coming up here like the, all these ashes and and melt flow coming down starting to like bury this one because it came from the bigger structure which is which is up here you can still see the horizontal lines and again i've said it many times before i'll say it again if you're new to this kind of stuff they call it sedimentary layers but it's actually melted brick lines sometimes compressed brick lines or pancaked brick lines as we like to say uh, sometimes expanded brick lines so they turn bigger heat expanded again grain growth you can see this you can see these rocks here with lots of red in them still but the red is getting like kind of extracted or squeezed out from all this heat it's part of this cataclysm so another one here uh, you can see here you can see the transformation of the red brick you can see this perfect red brick archways here usually archway stands uh, and are remained in pretty good condition um, because there's less mass for electricity to flow through here I think because it's air there's no like material here under the arches so less heat generally around openings and archways and stuff that's what I think uh, sometimes they're of course completely mangled I mean th this cataclysm has a lot of different levels of, of heat but over here you can see I mean who the hell would build like this random rocks and broken ass bricks and just slam them in there together like this just look at this whole structure so that's all transformed and changed into this it's bricks up here everywhere did they just make a pile of mortar and just throw random stuff on there and hope it became a building? You gotta question these kind of things. Here, another structure on the top here. Very cooked out. Also expanded into bigger blocks, as we see. But the bottom here, so you can see heat from the bottom climbing up, up to here. And heat expanding this. It's getting swollen and transformed now. Okay so the heat of this event the electricity coming through heating this shit up like really really hot changed the molecular structure and molecular bond of the bricks changing them altered states of matter and turned it into this and also what's interesting is you can see the the color of the swelling here is the exact same as the structure so this is all heat expanded and melted here. So here's one that I saw on Facebook from Shapu. So you see the whole structure here, like it's huge. Look at all that structure, which is of course melted down and turned into this now, probably very soft uh, sandstone-ish um, texture on it. But you can still see like structure here and apertures and stuff like that, columns. So you got a little bit of pockets of survival. Uh, but it is basically a wasteland here. It's not a lot left. Uh, not really useful for anything. And everything around here is just ashes. That's brick ash. So we live in a post-apocalyptic wasteland basically. The apocalypse already happened. We are after it and we turn into this, um, you know, we're born into this system. And the system has been around for a while. 
uh, since this cataclysm, uh, etc. But you know, you heard about slavery, and in mainstream history, they say, "Oh, slavery ended like hundreds of years ago." But no, slavery never ended. It was just redesigned to include everyone. And that's us. So you know, you have income taxes. And you gotta pay tax on everything you buy on already taxed money and then when you die and someone is gonna you know your children or something is gonna get uh, whatever valuable you had whatever uh, money you had and stuff then they have to tax on already taxed money and you know it, the taxes just keeps going and going and you know the taxing the water the taxing the air we breathe which should be a human right and they're taxing it not directly but they're taxing it with fuel tax and you know road taxes and you know taxes on fucking everything and uh, supposedly taxes that we pay are supposed to improve stuff in society but very little of that money is actually being used to improve things they're actually going into the pockets of the the big pockets of the the people on the top of this pyramid scheme we live in yeah we pay a lot of road taxes okay have you seen the conditions of the roads have you ever do you do you see road workers very often i mean they come to a site where the roads are shitty they put up all the cones and leave a few machines there and then they leave for another site for a few months before they come back you know it's horrible i see it all the time smelted structures here um they will tell you Uga Booga came and came and carved all of, all of this stuff uh, but it doesn't look like that to me these are just I mean why would you even carve this stuff it's just small openings in here all this extra stuff you know it's just the facades and windows and doors whatever they had that survived you can see more stuff down here you can see square holes whatever they used to have in here some beams and stuff to hold stuff up there's some stuff over here as well stuff everywhere I, I believe this is Cappadocia or Cappadocia in Turkey uh, same as this so you see all these square holes and all these smaller holes up here so if you're a caveman who doesn't know anything you're just trying to survive the elements why would you carve all of this stuff and put bricks in there so so you carve a big hole and then you seal it with bricks that doesn't make any sense to me so why don't you just carve a little hole like this if you need it so you can see that in all of these they're bigger and then the seal with bricks and stuff like that here you can see same stuff you can see the texture of it this one is cool you got the pocket on the top you got a door here so you can go out and risk falling down on here and you got this with all these slots or windows whatever they used to be i mean this one look at the texture and color and all of that in this this is obviously melted guys and here another one you can still see some of the brickwork openings here more like squares for whatever beams they had that went out to hold something up what I think mangled brickwork up here some more bricks up there and this one got a few similar to this uh, showing like here is an archway so you can see the heat coming up to mainly here mostly here swelling everything it's heat expanding so you can see structure here and you can also see there's stuff down here you can see bricks bricks here still from this structure so this whole structure goes down you know further there's bricks here there's windows and stuff or doors or something there's a window here there's stuff in the swelling here still see that used to be like this still in there just showing evidence guys here more swelling up here there's a window or, oh sorry there's a window or something here in the swelling a window down there Look at all this stuff. These bricks go all the way down here suddenly. Look. Some stuff down here. This is all swelling here. 
archway filled and it goes on and on old wall structures here uh, inherited by us I mean someone went around all over the place after the cataclysm to scavenge and, and claim and all that stuff and then we were introduced to stuff like this already built cities especially in places like Italy and stuff like that whole infrastructure whole cities already there we did not build them okay that's the thing we didn't build them so here you got the same kind of thing heat coming up swelling everything melting everything goes on and on old world infrastructure this one is cool because here you got archway starting to fill with melt another archway here filling with melt so likely inside the archway here stuff started to melt the core of the structure and the melt started to flow out you know the path of least resistance which is a huge opening here starting to come out a little bit flow out you know expand out got more heat damage here look at the bricks look at the red bricks how they look now and up here look at all that all that melt huge chunk of melt right there another pocket windows in here whatever yeah it's a huge melt guys just like this so this whole structure here but look here in the middle of it look at all that turn into that swelling down here here huge swelling heat expansion and here is a wasteland there's nothing left here but piles of dust structures melted down to piles of dust more melt lots of stuff in here a patch of <coughs> excuse me a patch of bricks right there more stuff here more mangled almost sealed up collapsed apertures up here huge structure this one always fascinates me because okay so you know the medieval so-called history and they built castles to protect their shit whatever so you build this huge wall so who's gonna come here with cavalry and, and stuff and invade you from here? You kind of have a 300 feet or something, I don't know, the feet systems, imperial systems yet. But you got this tall fucking uh, cliffside here. You got, you, you already have a wall. You don't need to build this huge wall to whatever castle war nonsense, you know. So... The whole structure is melted, only the top is still there. And a little bit here. This is the structure. All this stuff with bow bows and arrows and cannons and all that stuff, I, th I don't think it's actually a thing, okay? Because I think this cataclysm is pretty recent. I think a couple of hundred years, like two, three hundred years ago, this melted. So bet uh, from then to now, there's not a lot of time to have all these different timelines and stuff because everything you know two three hundred years everything i've been going rather quickly so you don't turn from using you know spears to bows to cannons to guns to tanks all over just like a couple of hundred years like that 200 years i don't think so i think it would take longer and stuff uh for all this you need more time to fit in all this different civilization going from you know having nothing but a rock into you know this 
square thing with flashing lights in front of me that I can show all of this history on like I'm doing now. So there's apertures here still, everything is completely mangled. There's different stuff here, different texture, and of course the pockets of survival on the top. Just melt everywhere we look, guys. Huge melt here, huge archway, archways melted and collapsed. More openings and stuff, and everything else is just unrecognizable wasteland. There's another opening in here. Some stuff up here, it looks like. And the front is full of some kind of footprint of something, but it's basically gone. So there's a little bit of ruins in here too. While well, the rest of the structures, the big ones, look like that. Same thing basically. Huge structures, red brick turned into this. You can see all these rocks and stuff in here still. Huge openings in here. You can see brick lines, collapsed apertures. More apertures down here. And some cows. Some cute cows. Cool. Let's go. You see here a little bit of remains. Here, some archway. And then some red brick in here. And some of them morphed, transformed into rocks and blocks. Then a melted structure here with an aperture and another one here. I mean, why would you carve this? You can't even use it. So it filled in from inside structure everything internally melted into it's not hollow anymore like a structure and the melt is just covering stuff from inside sometimes the structures don't melt completely inside and that's when you get caves and stuff you know caves okay they're not naturally generated and sometimes we dig them but a lot of times we don't dig them and people you know you heard about the miners in the past yeah they were told to go in there and find whatever valuable Metals and shit that was in these buildings before they melted. Have you seen like a gold nugget and stuff? They all look melted because they were So we go in there in these structures we build uh, or we don't build we, we we dig into the mines and we find all these Metals for the free energy circuit board whatever they used to have and we dig it out and we recycle it we recycle something that was already here all these metals, like copper, all this stuff, look when they find it, it all looks melted. It's part of, you know, the copper domes and gold domes and the electricity they had, the systems. Uh, it's all melted in there now. Look at the red bricks here, thoroughly cooked out. Starting to disintegrate, getting eaten up by the heat and the melt. And there's less and less mass in each individual, individual brick that just turn into this messy mess it's all ruins this photo is a little blurry sorry about that but you can see this structure with apertures and it kind of like sunk down and tipped backwards a little bit you see it tipped like this way there's more stuff up here more apertures and here you even got some brickwork left in here and a square up here up here collapsed whatever archway windows or something they had don't know it's very destroyed here this one is pretty cool seen it before but here it is again melted structure here turned into this with a little bit of pockets of survival here more melt in the back it's pretty cool little melt there and here can see the texture that also has pockets of survival got the brick lines and here it's just this texture and it's collapsing on itself over time and i mean look down here all this oh sorry look at all this um big square blocks and stuff falling down it's just collapsing over time This one is pretty obvious to me. I mean, it looks very heat damaged and very melted and swollen and expanded to me. Don't know what you think, but it should. 
tell you something. I mean, it should you sh it should make you think a little bit differently, especially since I explain like, hey, this is melted. So hopefully that will make you like put everything that you thought you knew to the side a little bit and, and watch this stuff with a little bit open mind and like open your mind to the possibility that some cataclysm happened um, on this earth in the past. So here another red brick structure here turn into bigger blocks it's cracked here turn into so-called rocks and here turn into that almost like mush with a little bit of structural so-called rocks in here look at this look just build on the side of this like that no so it's all fused in here it's all yeah it's all effed up guys okay oh yeah i'm gonna try to keep the bad words down a little bit um just to see how that goes to see you know i wanna see if i can make a couple of uh, family friendly videos you could say this one might not be that completely i'm not sure but uh I'm gonna keep it down a little bit, see how that goes, you know, just trying different things, you know, since I upload every two days, I'm gonna try a little bit of this, try a little bit of that, see what sticks, see what people like, and stuff like that, so, if you appreciate that, you can go down, leave a like on the video, and, uh, I'd appreciate that too, to help the video out, this one is crazy, all this melts down here, uh, but there is still a lot of wood in here still, look, all this wood in here this is very strange very different than what I usually see look at the bricks here cooked out into sand almost but you can still see the brick patterns in here very thoroughly cooked out this wood is pretty cool to me that is in here and a patch of brick here all cooked out look at this red bricks up here Got wooden beams still sticking out, so there was some kind of platform or balcony or something here, something up here, something up here, red brick up here. Look, this almost turned into sand. So this is this is the red brick. I mean, you can still see red bricks in here. But they're so thoroughly cooked out now that they're get turning into dust almost here. I mean, pretty much you can just scrape this shit off with your fingers probably. So that's that's brick ash. And that's sand. Okay. So when you see the desert areas on this earth. That's brick ash. Okay. Brick ash. It's actually not sand. That's just a so-called geologic term on it. But it's brick ash. Look at this swelling here. Swelling, swelling, expanding. And then it kind of just folds over itself in layers. You see it? Look here, it goes into here. This is crazy swelling. It still has some, you know, slots for beams and stuff like that. You know, kind of like this stuff sticking out and stuff. Probably had some stuff in here, but it's too swollen and mangled now. But this is, this is incredible, guys. Look, look here. What's this supposed to do here? Yeah, it's all swollen here. Look at that. Here's the th same kind of deal here. You got red bricks thoroughly cooked out, very dry, no mortar left, basically. Turn into this, transform the bricks, but you can see here some more swelling. You can still see pancake compressed brick lines in here, but yeah, all this. So this is the red rocks that we have in um, America, which I want to go and see maybe this summer or something. I, I need to find time for all this stuff and... and the correct schedule but i want to see some of the red rocks dude boots on the ground and all the good stuff if you are in a location of cool melt uh you can also send me send me the photos that you have uh got an email uh on my youtube channel that you can find in there i got a link tree uh which is link tree slash the tartarian meltdown you got all my stuff on there like facebook and uh instagram and telegram all that stuff so you can like contact me and send your shit if you got some cool mouth and you know i might put it in my videos and stuff you know show it around so you can see the brick lines and you can see the whatever this is 
brick lines and more whatever this is which is not natural of course so this one melted into a huge chunk here and here is same melt as the one we saw a couple of photos ago like what what the hell is this we just have this here and you build around i mean it makes no sense look huge swelling in here look at this look at this swelling guys so this is this is melted structures guys this is meltology something happened to this structure and i hope you can see it and i hope you can agree that something happened here because it was never built like this and this is an erosion you can't have this with a little bit of water and a little bit of wind and stuff and again erosion will remove it won't add so yeah so you have stuff like this you still have structure in here but if this shit kept melting you know the event stopped eventually somehow uh, for some reason I don't know but it stopped eventually so if this kept kept melting it would turn into that basically more melt here look at the texture still see horizontal lines in here it's all brick lines it's all it's red even what's red oh melted red brick red brick here this one tipped over got structure up here lots of melt flood here brick ash just oh sorry brick ash just sliding down from all this huge melt god knows what it used to be a huge piece here coming off look at the texture can you see how it's dripping down and all that stuff look look how straight this piece is here and flat wow look at the mouth look at that look at that stuff yeah melted red brick buildings here little truck for reference person there huge buildings guys so yeah look at that look at the melt collapsing look at the structures guys look at that it's even a little square thing here look how flat it is you can see the brick lines in here this one is melting collapsing sliding all over the place guys look at that the layers the waves flowing collapsing look at that and tell me that's not melted buildings more thoroughly cooked out stuff you can see faint uh, apertures in here possibly more structure it's all structure guys you can see openings look it turned into that it turned into this one turned into almost like mud here or dirt i mean like dirt and and plants love they thrive off that shit look it's even turning green here see this is like dirt which is also melt brick melt so that means we've never seen the actual earth before. We have just seen melted ruins, wastelands, where nature is trying to take over and grow on all of this stuff because there's still lots of nutrition and energy in these kind of structures. Here, this is a very good, you can see this is structure. This is a structure with apertures faint in there. And here, where is this dirt coming from? All the way up there, right? So it turned into dirt basically look at the texture up here look at the melt dripping down the walks like walks dripping down still see deformed facades and apertures you see the square like here very flat side kind of 90 degree not a flat side some cooked out bricks down here and that's it guys so thank you for watching this far if you did uh that means you love the video watching however many minutes we're in now i don't know so that means you have to click the like button and if you hated it and you want to just see how ridiculous all of this is then you gotta click the thumbs down button 
subscribe to my channel please uh, and hit the bell so you can get notifications if you enjoyed it then you will see future uploads share it with your friends and family if you got open-minded people if you got a, a truth posting social media account on insta facebook youtube whatever you have uh, post it out there maybe on twitter or something share it out see what people think bring people into the mouth guys uh, share this stuff around Leave a comment if you liked it, and as always, troll comments and stupid people, uh, I won't respond, usually. So, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you, guys. I uh, appreciate all of you. I appreciate all the support. And uh, the next video should be up on Tuesday, unless some crazy shit happens. So, uh, until then, you guys take care of yourself. Uh, be good be healthy all that good stuff and get the truth out there okay thank you guys appreciate you see you next time